Welcome to Fashion Nicole. In today's video, I will be addressing and correcting any misunderstanding and misconceptions about interfacing. We are going to do this immediately after the break. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. Interfacing is any fabric applied at the wrong side of garment or working articles for the purposes of providing structure, firmness, stabilizing it. If you pick any given dress or garment, from the collars to the neck areas to the calves, the sleeves, even to accessories, bags, they all have interfacings. Interfacings are classified into two categories. We have woven and non-woven, and we have fusible and non-fusible. We are first going to look at the first characteristics, woven and non-woven. It simply means there are a group of interfacings that are constructed with wrap and weft yarn in basic weaving. And when we look at non-woven, they are made by knots constructing the fibers, meaning you can use cotton lengths, add adhesive, fill them together and we get fabric. We know we have different construction method for fabrics and we have fusible and non-fusible. Simply means we have a group of interfacing that comes with adhesive at one part. You only apply heat or steam to enable them stick to the portion you want to apply them. And we have those that are non-fusible. You can't fuse them, but rather you sew or stitch them for them to be attached to the portion needed. We have displayed some different types of interfacings, and I want you to see each. We are going to look at the uses and also um, how they make the final work or the appearance of whatever you've produced fine. This is a corset. This is a final corset. You can see quilting techniques in. There is an interfacing that is enabling the puffiness to show after the quilting. This is also a jacket. The jacket looks extremely fine. The surface look clean and creep because we have interfacing that is stabilizing the whole thing. The first set of interfacing I want us to look at are the deco bonds. Deco bonds comes in different forms. We have the woven and non-woven. They have a foundation of lentils. So deco bonds are made from felt, cotton lentils. These are deco bond. The deco bond family, starting with the felt deco bond hat. This is it. It's made of cotton lentils padded in high layers, very thick. When you are quilting in corsets, this is the best interfacing to go. It gives you fine lace and enables you to get that bouncy feel. This is also used in cage art. If you are making peplums that you really require structure in it, you're going for the felt deco bond hard, extremely hard. We have the felt deco bond fluffy. This is fluffy. It has no adhesive. If you want to use this for quilting as well, you would have to find a way to stabilize this by applying fusible web and steaming it up to the portion. You can use this for suit making as well. We can use this to part. When we are making jackets, this is very appropriate. We still have the deco bond soft, but this is fusible. It comes with adhesive in it. When making garments from dresses, bodies of dresses, in brocade, wax print, if you need stabilization in the garment, this is the sure interfacing to go for. It enables the fabric to sleep very fine and it adds a bit of structure to it. This is it. The next, we want to look at the laminated foam. 
This is an interfacing called the laminated foam. You can have this with both sides laminated or you can have the single laminated foams as well. This is it. You can have a look at it. We use this in creating bra caps, shell caps. If you look at this, this is a custom shell cap created because probably you didn't get the size of the cap required and you want to make your own cap. So you prepare your patterns, you cut the patterns out of this. With the help of a zigzag sewing machine, you stitch to customize your own cap, laminated foam. We have the tissue gum. This is tissue gum. It comes in white and black, extremely soft. It's also fusible. We apply this, you can apply this in your linings and also when you have delicate fabrics like silks, very light fabric, which require just light support, you can use this tissue gum. We have woven canvas. This is canvas for your jackets. It's a sure way to go. It's non-fusible, so you need an adhesive by applying your fusible web, hemming gum or tape, or if you have fabric glue as well, the vanishing type, you can use it when you're applying this canvas. We move on to Shape Flex. Shape Flex interfacing, it comes in different forms. This is Shape Flex, it's woven. This also Shape Flex, quiet, structured, woven. This is soft, Shape Flex. These are generally used in garments. For dresses, curtains, this is the sure way to go. For very clean crepes appearance of the pieces you are constructing. If you are big on interfacing, this is the everyday interfacing for your garments. We move on to this. This is villain. Villain is extremely common worldwide. It's also made from lintes. Um, based on your location, you know how to call this. I mean, Nigerians refer this to a stay. Uh, in Ghana, it's called stiff. In South Africa, Von. Different, different, based on where you are, you definitely have a local name for this. It comes in extreme hard, hard, medium, and soft. Others also refer this to as the paper interfacing. Yes, people don't really use this for high-end pieces, but when constructing your garment collars and all that, the calves, skirt bands, waist bands, you can use this as a sure way to go. Then we have the crisp, also popularly known as the collar stiff. It's extremely hard, very, very hard, but this cuts edge, that is how the interfacing is. It's also appropriate for making very beautiful collars for jackets, very statement pieces, neck areas. And also when you're making waistbands, you can go in for this. And in cage art, in very thick fabrics, this is a sure way for interfacing to work to go for. Let's go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we continue our lesson. Dear designer, you deserve some sewing excitement in your design process. Shop at Sogasm GH for your authentic trusted sewing accessories, Studio 8 and Couture fabrications. We don't only sell to you, we provide valuable consultation services to enable you choose the right product for your project. Visit our page on Instagram at Sogasm Ghana to see available stock items. Call us or WhatsApp us on 0592-309576. Email us on sogasmghana at gmail.com. Have a fabulous sewing gasm. Welcome back from the break. Our next interfacing is the felt patterns. These are the felt patterns. You can use this for the shoulder pad areas of your jacket, or if you're making any garment and you require structure around the shoulder, you can use this. We equally use this in hip pattern in garment construction. If you haven't watched my video on hip pattern, please do watch that. You see how this can be used to pad the hips. We equally use this in remodeling our dress form. If your dress form size is not big enough and you really want to create shapings, this is a sure way interfacing to use. That is padding. We have the shell caps. 
these are the short cups it comes in different different styles and sizes you fix this in garments if you want more definition around the bust area you can go in for short cups so it's an interfacing it's adding shape and structure around the bust areas now let's look at some few tips when you're using these interfacings know that these interfacings comes in colors as well cream black white you have to choose the color based on the color of what fabric you are working with if you are working with a white fabric of white there is no need or it's wrong to go in for what black color because when you put black in white it will change the whole color if you are working with black go in for black if you're working with white go in for what white so choose the colors appropriately and also when you're making collars with bands and all that know that it's wrong to stitch on the interfacing when you fuse the interfacing and you are stitching stitch along when you stitch on the interfacing and you turn your pattern through you have bulk at the outline that is wrong so always stitch along when fusing don't touch the interfacing directly with the iron you can use a pressing mint or cloth cover up and press press gently interfacings have green direction you have to cut the interfacing with the same green direction of your pattern if you cut a dress and you have the front side cut on the straight grain and you want to interface that part you need to cut your interfacing also on the straight grain you don't cut the fashion fabric on straight grain and cut the interfacing across grain when you fuse There'll be change in green direction and it may affect fit. That's how when you have three patterns in front, you can stitch this part to this part and this part never fits. If you check your interface and probably when you were cutting, this part was enough. So you did cut from one direction. The other side, you, you change the direction and after cutting and fusing, the whole thing is not what matching. So these are the little, little tips that can help you explore when you are using these interfaces. All these interfaces are available at Sogasm Ghana. Make sure you check their page out. Their page link is in the description box below. All you do is to tap, go there, check what is available, shop, they will ship to you wherever you find yourself in the world. Kind courtesy DHL. Also, I want to say a very big thank you to each and every subscriber here. I really appreciate you for the love and support. That can never be underestimated. Please keep getting your friends and other members to join in. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and click on the bell notification icon. Get notified anytime I upload a video right on this page. Do well to also follow me on Instagram at dr clement Sam era and at fashion masterclass africa please let's interrupt and i'll see you in the next video stay blessed